So we're nearing the completion of the first phase of the project, which is characterizing the extent of the repair that's necessary, completing all the non-destructive and visual examinations so that we can assure ourselves we know the sites that need to be repaired. And in parallel with that, planning and developing the equipment in order to implement the repairs. So we're about to move into the second phase, which is conducting the repair work itself. We've modeled all of the structure of, of the reactor, and in spite of the fact that we've defueled, we've removed the fuel, there are still a lot of internal structures in the reactor that we have to work around. So looking down on top of the reactor, we've prepared a mock-up of one quadrant of the reactor in order to allow us to simulate the repair conditions that we need to be able to implement. This is the mock-up itself. It shows, and this is full scale, um, it shows the, the dimensions of the area that need to be repaired. This is the vessel wall itself, and this is the annulus behind the vessel wall where the corrosion has been identified. So inside the vessel, these are some of the structures that, uh, that exist. These are cups at the bottom of the various uh, fuel and component channels. This is a, a thermal plate that's bolted on to the inside of the bottom of the vessel. The, the actual leak site itself is quite small. It's about three millimeters at an elevation like this. So it's, it's, a, it's a small, almost like a pinhole uh, through the reactor vessel. And it requires repair uh, at a few sites around the circumference of the vessel at this elevation. We've done non-destructive examinations to measure the wall thickness around the vessel from this elevation up to about here. And this gives us a very good assessment of the condition and the extent of repair that's necessary. We're at the point right now of finalizing the analysis of that non-destructive examination so that we can finalize the precise uh, locations and the precise number of repair sites that need to be uh, fixed. The value of this mock-up is that it can be used to test the tools that need to be deployed inside the reactor vessel. And so there's a lot of mock-up training and development that's required so that we can assure ourselves that the tooling is absolutely and fully ready to be deployed and that it will do the required function. So again, the tooling is introduced from the, from the top of, of the reactor through small openings about this diameter. It's a large assembly. It's over 30 feet long. And it comes down through the openings, comes down and seats in a cup like this, and it's like an umbrella. It comes down and seats, and then it deploys out. It opens up like an umbrella with arms that come out with tooling in order to come into contact with the the inside of the vessel wall. We'll be working with contractors who are developing the tools and we'll be testing in mock-ups including a full-scale, full-height mock-up in order to train staff and to demonstrate that the, all of the equipment is qualified to perform the necessary repairs. So there's a multidisciplinary team working on the project to bring the reactor back to service. So this is a world-class effort to repair this vessel in the shortest possible time, and we're bringing expertise from all of these groups in order to solve this problem and move it forward as quickly as we possibly can to execute a safe repair of the vessel.